Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just embracing, you know, the unknown parts of yourself. Being able to go down towards your journey, even though you might not know where it's going to lead you, you're just having faith it will take you in better places that you were already starting from you know it <laughs> started from so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up to me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and head you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now and need validation or confirmation if they're trying to find out if they're on the right path or not please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to re resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to let me turn it up just a little bit can't really hear it um it's called universe uh ambient lucid dreams sleep total relaxation space inspirational uplifting sleep and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas uh with the intense push and pull vibes you know we go through this all the time it's especially with us being hey okas it's like we're like yo-yos at times and you're trying to understand dang i just went five steps forward and one situation can totally bring me 10 spaces back and you know, and it's like that at times. I get like that every few days or, I mean, a week can go by and I'm really in good spirits. And it can be, take a certain situation. It could be like uh, a bill came out of nowhere that you weren't expecting to have. Or, you know, your car breaks down or you're getting in tune it, to it with your roommate or, you know, a spouse or, you know, whatever, you know. And it could it makes you go through these different situations like i told people well, we are being activated so with us being activated you know a lot of our like our past hurt trauma anything that we're going through is being recycled so when it comes back to you it's just a lot of things universe is making us face that you know we have pushed aside or to say oh i don't want to deal with it right now i'll just think about something else and it's just like we really can't do that you know if you know you have thought patterns that's coming up and they affect you in emotional, your know, emotional sense, like can put you in a dark place or get you pissed off or, you know, make you sad or, you know, just make you downright depressed. You know, you have to really face all that trauma that has been placed in your life, you know, so you can be able to move on. You know, you can't can't stop memories from coming up because they happen. But the only thing is different between your your memories, uh memory pattern it could be something that comes up and it doesn't affect you anymore it's like oh yeah i remember i'm like dang i forgot all about that and just let it go with peace and love you know it's just like because it's releasing itself and it when it's releasing itself you do not pose to give it any thought any mind you know allow yourself to make peace with the situations that are going on in your life you know it's just like we have a bad habit of saying okay you know i'm determined to have a good day and it takes strength to do that you know even though things might fall apart in your day and you choose to have a good day regardless of whatever's going around you that takes a lot of strength you know there's times i get like that and i said you know what i'm not gonna allow this to get to me you know i can't change it there's nothing i can do now if it's something you can physically do like if you're making amends to somebody like if your your thought comes up and with the, with us being empaths we don't we don't like being confrontational you know you can start something but damn sure finish it but it's just the whole point we just don't like arguments you know because sometimes i'm just like dang, 
I don't feel like talking to them about this because I already know what's going to lead into an argument. Sometimes you have to be able to just sit down and talk to somebody and say, look, these certain things that we're going through, it is really affecting me in a mental standstill, you know, or emotional uh, is, is getting me in balance. Can we talk about this? If you know if it's not now, if it's a narcissist, oh, you ain't about to win that argument whatsoever because they're not even going to admit to where they're wrong. They will throw that mess on you and make themselves look like a victim. So then you don't even need to worry about it. Don't even engage in it. But anything you know you can probably fix, like if you can talk it out with people. You know, I try to really talk it out with people. And sometimes, you know, it, it can either go one way or the other. You know, some people you can openly talk to about situations that are going on. Some people, they're probably, they don't even notice they're doing it at times. Or they know what they're doing, they're being nasty. You know, if they try to be indirect, but trying to be direct at the same time, trying to be slick about stuff. I had people do that to me. And some of them were friends. And I'm just like, oh, okay, you're doing that nasty, nasty type thing. I'm like, okay. Then I just go ahead and let them go. I, I just, I'm not even going to give that a response. I just block you. I just, when I notice people do that, I have to do that recently. And I'm just like, I'm not even going to do a response with that because they already knew what they did. And it was just the fact is I seen it, you know, and it, it became a pattern. So I had to be able to take that out of my life. I said, no, I'm not going to do that, especially when I know I've been good to you. You know, you can tell me all the truth you want to. You can see all my flaws, but you can't sit up here and deal with yours. I can't stand people like that. You know, I go, peace and love, beautiful like Eddie Murphy say, beautiful, beautiful, and, and going about your business. I don't, I don't have time for that. Especially, don't be sitting up here knocking at my door and throwing rocks at mine, and you living in a glass house over there that's not clean, you know. But dealing with all of our push and pull situations, just call it for what it's worth. You know, if you're going through a certain situation and you know it's affecting you and there's nothing you can change about that situation, especially for something in the past, you know, it could, something can always trigger you. You know, it could be like a scent of a perfume or a scent of a cologne or a certain saying that somebody says. You know, I had, you know, somebody close to me do that. You know, they used to say a certain saying that my dad, my adopted father would say. And that made my skin crawl. And it was just like, are they doing this on purpose because they know I can't stand that word? Or they're just doing it just to be antagonizing or they just didn't catch themselves doing it. I didn't even, you know, I wasn't even going to feed into it because that type of person I was dealing with, they love to see my skin crawl. And so I'm just like, you know what, it is what it is. You're going to get yours regardless anyway. You know, I'm going to just pray for you. Whatever happens, happens. You know, I don't wish nothing. I, you know, I can't wish ill will on folks because whatever your karma is, is going to be your karma regardless anyway. You know, especially when you're dealing with an abuser. All you can do is just, you know, make peace with the situation and walk away. You know, when you're dealing with a whole bunch of push and pull, because right now you, you probably, things are coming up and, you know, either it can be, you know, I used to get mad when I have a dream that you don't make me mad in my dream. The next thing you know, I have an attitude with you the next day. That mess used to make me laugh because I'm just like, they're like, wow, so I ain't even do nothing to you. No, nah, but you did in my dream and it just made me think that you're doing something in real life. So it's just like all these things, like even even in your dreams, it's like things that you can be dealing with on a daily basis in your subconscious will be in your dreams to let you realize these are some, certain things you need to let go of. These are the things you need to pay attention to. These are the things you need to fix or these are just the things you need to let go of. You know, and it's just like with my situation, I had to be able to let, you know, my family go because it's just like all of a sudden they popped up in my dream or whatever I'm like what the heck you doing in my dream i don't be thinking about you like that you know and it, it was just like but you know what you do because in time you know stuff goes on and you know it's because of this situation they put you in this is the reason why you acted like this so it's just like i have to come to terms with everything happened the way it was supposed to happen even though it was really jacked up that i had to go through all these different changes and sacrifices that they you know they made for me you know, I wouldn't have been able to be the person I am. This, I mean, my situation is just so jacked up all the way around to where I can say, you know what, it gave me strength. You know, I, I mean, I, I gave up a lot of things. I never thought I was going to be able to stop smoking or smoking weed or whatever. I was like Chief Keith. <laughs> and I never thought I was going to be able to, you know, let that go. But then I'm just like, you know what, 
my judgment's not clouded i can be able to pay attention to everything around me you know ain't nothing getting over on me if you know and if it did i learned my lesson from it and i'm learning and i'm growing so it's just like anything that you know that you can possibly change about a situation or you know if it's an old memory you know that has really messed you up the long way you know if you can make peace with that memory you know it's like okay i'm no longer putting emotions into this let it flow like a balloon you know and let it go where it needs to go and send it away with love and love and peace you know and it's just like you have to be able to do that when it comes to you know sore thorns in your side being able to make peace with the pain that was caused to you and it can be really it can be really detrimental it can be really dark you know because it's like I, i've seen some of the comments that y'all have sent me let me know the things that you had to go through with childhood and i'm just like damn how do you make peace with something like that you know and i mean it hurts my heart you know because I, when i'm feeling i mean when y'all tell me about y'all situations i'm reading it i'm picturing that stuff and i'm just like I'm gonna send them a hug because I mean I wouldn't even know I wouldn't even know what to do if I was in a situation. How would I be able to handle it? That's why it's just like we can't sit up here and talk about somebody else's journey when we need to be paying attention to ours because you never know what this person had to go through to get there. You never know the reason why this person acts the way they act because of the things they were you know they did you know it's just like with me when y'all tell me certain situations like if you want to be with somebody or you know you want to be able to find that person that loves you for you you have to be able to heal and learn to love yourself you know and be comfortable with who you are be comfortable in your own skin being able to deal with your insecurities being able to deal with the parts of you that is not healed yet you have to be able to heal these things all the way because you don't want to go into a relationship with all this baggage you know coming into it you don't that's why it's just like i say i stay single because i'm still healing right now you know i have people talking to me all the time i'm like eh, no i'm good or i tell them i'm married leave me alone <laughs> i'm married just leave it alone you know and it's just like i made peace with that because it's just like i know there's somebody out there for me but if i'm not when we're talking and i'm not even feeling that with you it ain't i'm not about to waste my time i'm not going to be sure so it's just like i know i'm going through different changes in my life healing and aspects and levels that you know i'm still learning from being able to love myself in all different shapes shapes you know shades and colors and sizes you know so being able to deal with those push and pull factors those push and pull vibes push and pull vibes you know is just basically whatever you released out to the world is coming back to you and it's just like you know when you see a recycling thing you know they're recycling everything they're taking stuff out you know refining it you know making things clearer you know all these different things so you have to be able to make peace with all those vibes that you have you know be able to understand why am i still getting affected by this because you're not totally healed from it you know and i have to tell myself that you're not totally healed from the things that happen you know if there's something that comes on and you know and i know the universe is trying to test me to see you know is she going to still be affected by a certain situation like that and i'm just like yeah i'm still affected so i know i'm still healing from certain things and i know you know it it, it might take some time but i'm okay with that i'm fine so it's just like when you know you're heading towards something you get frustrated wondering why things are not happening where they're supposed to or why you're not able to jump into the next chapter yet because you're still adding more to that chapter you're not going backwards you don't want to reread the same chapter but you're adding more details to that chapter that you really need to deal with before you can be able to go to that next one you're getting there but you know while you're healing you know you're gradually going where you need to go so it's just heal where you need to heal and let go where you need to let go and I hope you are able to resonate on the content of this video I hope y'all have a blaze bless blaze bless safe weekend be responsible and safe on everything you do like and subscribe go ahead and drop me your name and a comment and i'll go make sure i'll put you in my um a shout out on my next video i'm giving a shout out to freak 1541 uh express earth angel and uh viram karishna much love to you many blessings and i hope all y'all have a blessed weekend send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days so much love peace like and subscribe hit that bell button you know drop me a line and share and i'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild